everyone, Terry Crews here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Greetings, folks. I am Terry Crews, and welcome to the season as we're about to bring back in for our new part of the matchups. And this is NHL 24 on EA Sports Season 3. That's right, guys. We are back, and we're ready to take on for the new part of the season of the new year for 2023 to 24 of the night. This time, I'm a new comedian, and I am still the same person that will be here in every season to join up with the follows. And as of right now, Mifo will have to take the cover on this one for the Anime Insanity, only to take that one from here. But as of right now, our first game is happening here, to start up with the run. That's right, as we're about to be seeing for the new teams for this matchup, in the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference, we start on the Western side of the conference first, as we're about to be seeing the first two matchups. We got the St. Louis Blues, and they are facing up against in Arizona to face against the Coyotes at Bullet Arena. For as a current starter, we seen the last season as the Coyotes have definitely got a made a win over against the Golden Knights. We've seen a bunch of a buzz beaters to take over for this game, and we're about to find out who's gonna take the next game. As for this part of the matchup, we're about to find out. Who are the starting goaltenders in between for the two? And these are the only ones that can take them anywhere from in between the range. The starting group of the lineups are being here as follows. We have this Jordan Cairo. Then we have this Brazil Buznevich and Robert Thomas. These are the three all superstar players that are here for to take over the range and the lineup to have it all down as being right down on our own side. And on the Coyote side, one of the biggest players that we all called for, Clay Clayton Keller. And the other side, right in front of the game, we have this Nick Schmaltz. That's another group of the player that we have a year before. The starting goaltender that we have a year for the Arizona, we have this Connor Ingram and Corral Dutch Melka. I think that Connor Ingram will be able to take this one for the first part of the game that will be playing with us here for tonight. And for the St. Louis Blues, we definitely do have the other one on the other side that we're about to be seeing. And the other goaltender we've got is Jordan Bennington and Joel Hopper. For right now, Jordan Bennington will be able to take for his starting goaltender for the St. Louis Blues. And that will be the part of it in between of one of the zones. Right in between, a seamless blues of the Bennington and Connor Ingram. Now, let's take you here at the Mullet Arena. Welcome to the new commentary, Cheryl, the Olympic medalist of the game, and she's here with us for the season with Jay Zabalski. Let's get started, folks, and we'll see you all later pretty soon after the third period. Puck 
access the zone. Outside the call, we'll get a reset. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Blues can control the faceoff. Pareko's going to play against the half wall. James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. And here's a shot! Arizona's got the puck against the half wall. And that 
Charging. Time and penalty, 241 remaining in the first period of the game. Just loving these types 
Last minute remaining in the first period. Here my number eight, Alexander Cooper, and my number six here, Jason Zerker. Time of the goal, the wall, five three remaining, and a score, 14, 43 remaining in a second. 
going to the side. A chance on goal. And Dawkins denied. Moves the puck. Sends a pass over. The Blues are on the attack. Hooked away by Dunga. Trying to get it out of their own end. Here's a race to the loose puck. The Blues have it against the wall. St. Louis has the puck. The Coyotes take possession here in the open ice. They pass ahead. Oh, he took quick pass. What a stop by Ingram. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age the working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the saves. What a club hand. McBain's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Thomas has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Arizona's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Slides the puck down low. Jersey's penalty is almost expired. Both sides back to even strength. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Unable to reach that one. And the officials are going to say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Smoltz plays it now. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. And now it's grabbed by Schmaltz. Here's a short pass to Brown. Takes the pass. Moves around along the half wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Puck picked up by Thornton. From off the wall and onto a stick. Blaze moving the puck through his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Crew. Slides it to Verona. Puck moved over to Crew. St. Louis on the attack. Moves it to the middle. And it's blocked. Arizona's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Dumba. Here's a pass down low. From the blue line, they take control of it. The Coyotes scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Dumba. What a save by Bennington. Passes over to Blay. Gains the zone through the middle. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Can't maintain possession. To Zucker. To the front! The signs to think about it! Assisted here by number 43, Jason Zucker. And by number 67, Matthew Dumba. Time to go. 16.43 remaining in the first second period. With the outs in, outs in to Kerfoot, skull. 317 remaining in the second period of the game. Zone. 
The Coyotes will play the puck from behind the net. Picked up along the boards by Jersey. Across the line. Second period nearly into its final. One more minute remaining in the second period of break. Arizona 
Patriots for a team goal this season. Score by number 67, Lawson Crows. They were assisted by number man, Martinez Marcelli. And by number 43, Fred Lacello. Time of the goal of the game, 452 remaining in the first. The loss and close to score. 14 33 remaining in the second third period of the game. Yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but each 
than it should be. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Moves it to Hayes. Cuts to the front. scored by number 42, Kasturi Capano. He's first assisted by number 23, Brian Nishine. And by number 20, and by number 39, Brian Scandella. Time to go over to the Blues. 17.48 remaining in the fourth period. 
for the only day change in school, 212 remaining in the third period. One more minute remaining in the third period. seconds in the third. Jason Zucker with the two assist in five hits. Only made out an assist here, and it goes right the other way. Second star goes to Lawson Krause with a goal in five hits. And made out in a great motion in, and putting it up with a goal. And your first star player, all for one, Connor Ingram. 35 saves, 2.01 with a goal percentage. Had that one a great, fantastic run. Here's how he did with the goal total statistics of the run. We have an old total in between 42 to 37 in the total shots of the game. 54 over 34 with the hits of the Blues, taking out with a lot of Coyote attackers with the Blue Flyer Zone, right in between the Blues territory. 4.27 and 10.42 was their time on attack for Arizona. 89% of the passing is turning a lot of great effectiveness, right over 79% too. 31 faceoff wins have been turning out to be clean. Nobody got that one here for Arizona, and they need to start going something else. Well, it's a hard control, as you can see. It was a lot of hard passing to try to keep it right in front of range. We don't want that one to get out of the way, because that will be out of here in no 20 minutes. Four-minute penalty range was in between two teams, and no power play goals is made. And only power play minutes was just the same thing as well. And so that will do for the first game. It has been a fun one view for the start of the first night for the opening of the NHL 24. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. This one's always appreciation. We can't really get there more of attentional and getting things done right away. So without further ado to say is we really appreciate to everyone who has been watching for this one and thank you 500 subscribers on my channel we couldn't agree more. And please keep subscribing because there'll be more, plenty of things to come, right in between for the NBA, some reaction videos, and many others to come. We've got a lot more coming in to keep your eyes on. But as of right now, the supercuts of the Mario and Sonic are halfway finished. We're right on to season four, and then after that, 
there will be a narrow way to get right into the next one to keep your eyes on. As we see the Avalanche facing against the Winnipeg Jets at Canada's Life Palace. So as we're reading right now, thank you so much for tuning in, for watching. And if you'd like to see some more of our highlights, check out the previous playlist of the video and the playoffs of this game of the Stanley Cup of 2023, the last season motto. But for this season, we'll see how this goes when it turns out big. Yeah, it might be a fun thing. We can't usually get away with those. So as of right now, Son of Beast is out of here along with Terry Crews and Jason Bosky along with Cheryl and Kara. I, it's been a presentation of the NHL 24, the regular season matchup. Thanks for so much for tuning in and peace out everyone for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports Style. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you don't, somebody will. Thanks for watching and see you all again next time. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.